Harvey Weinstein's latest accuser emotionally detailing yet another Hollywood horror story involving the media mogul. I felt so powerless because he is, after all, very powerful. Friday, former actress Heather Kerr alleged Weinstein forced her to touch his genitals during a casting meeting in the late 80s. He told me that this was how things worked in Hollywood and that all of the actresses that had made it had made it this way. Kerr's account adds to reports of more than 60 women accusing Weinstein of everything from sexual harassment to rape. Shortly after Kerr's announcement, the attorney for an Italian actress and model reasserted claims his client was raped four years ago inside this Beverly Hills hotel. I can tell you that what she uh, explained to them in graphic detail, uh, it's my understanding that that caused LAPD to open up a criminal investigation for sexual assault and rape. Several sources tell NBC News the unidentified woman met with LAPD detectives for more than two hours Thursday, saying Weinstein knocked on her door uninvited, dragged her into the bathroom and raped her. She had no idea what was coming and her greatest regret is opening that door. Weinstein is maintaining his innocence. His spokesperson releasing a statement saying, in part, any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied by Mr. Weinstein. Meanwhile, Academy Award-winning actress Lupita Nyong'o detailed her encounters with Weinstein in the New York Times, saying she panicked when Weinstein asked to give her a massage at a private screening. She gave him a massage instead to be in control physically, a growing Hollywood scandal spanning decades with accusations all aimed at the same man. For today, Steve Patterson, NBC News, Hollywood. Let's bring in Lisa Green now. She's an attorney. She's also a legal analyst here. Lisa, good morning to you. Uh, let's start with the Italian actress and model who claims that she was raped by Weinstein back in 2013. That brings the total number of women who have claimed that Weinstein raped them to six. Is Weinstein now in, in serious legal jeopardy? You know, this has already been catastrophic for Harvey Weinstein, but there's no question that these criminal charges, especially given the ability women now have to come forward with older claims, in places like New York, California, and in London, makes things significantly more serious for him. But are these accusations hard to prove? I mean, is it he said, she said, essentially? You know, typically the easiest rape charges to bring to conviction are strangers mm -hmm. and violence. And this is neither of those things. And Harvey Weinstein has said all of these engagements were consensual. Nonetheless, the severity and specificity of these charges and the willingness of women now to come forward Serious issues for him. We've talked about the criminal, uh, potential criminal charges, civil charges here, civ uh, p potential civil suits, the likelihood of that at this point. You know, they're easier to bring. The burden of proof is lower. And something to look for is the possibility that employees may decide to forego their non-disclosure agreements and start talking about what happened inside the company. That would allow for a whole other set of civil claims. You obviously don't have a crystal ball here, but what happens next, in your opinion, from a legal perspective? What's next? I think we uh, may or may not be at the end of the number of women who come forward, so you could expect to hear more claims. Watch what happens at the company, and Harvey Weinstein has a lot of lawyering up to do. Lisa Green, always good to have the insight. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.